A decision by a state board is forcing a merger between two utility districts in our region. The verdict comes after allegations of money mismanagement by former leadership. The Tennessee Board of Utility Regulation met in Nashville today to consider ordering a merger of the South Fork Utility District and the Bristol Bluff City Utility District. The board unanimously voted to order the merger. In recent years, the state controller reports the South Fork's former leadership made more than one and a half million dollars in what they called questionable payments. News Channel 11's Katherine Simpson explains what the merger process will look like and why the decision was made. Katherine? Sarah Casey, a merger won't be immediate. South Fork and Bristol Bluff City Utilities now have until the end of the year to come to an agreement about what the merger would look like for the board to review at its first meeting next year, despite protests from South Fork's representatives. Doesn't this come down to what's in the best interest of the right payer? That's the reasoning leaders the with the Tennessee well, Board of Utility Regulation statute, cite for their decision to move South Fork to, Utility and Bristol Bluff City Utility towards a merger. This all started because South Fork was going down going downhill pretty fast. Assistant um, Director Ross Colonna citing an April 2022 comptroller report that found South Fork made nearly $1.7 million in quote questionable payments to the district manager and his companies as well as ongoing financial instability. Thank but Eric Reacher, an attorney representing the utility, says new leaders are on track well. to fix those issues. They've righted the ship, let them remain on that course and keep their focus on serving their customers. Please don't distract them from that purpose by forcing an, uh, an unwanted, an unnecessary, and an unjustified merger. The utilities on the already That's have fun. a close relationship. South Fork currently buys all of its water from Bristol Bluff City, and the two utilities had been discussing a potential merger before It'd the vote be the today. Manager. But Kelowna says... Um, and South Fork essentially said, no, we want the majority of the representation on your board. And so because you're not willing to give that up, we're just not going to do a merger at all. Kelowna says the merger will likely lower rates for South Fork customers and be in their best interest. Reacher disagreed. To take it a step further now, would be a government overreach to fix a problem that no longer exists. The commissioners didn't see it that way. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. I reached out to both utility districts for their reaction to the vote today. I have not yet received a response. Sarah Casey.